Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail with a new series in a game you may recognize. Music? Ah, uh, don't worry about There's nothing to talk about in terms of this song which you may recognize. Silicon and Synapse is the old name for Blizzard. This is Rock and Roll Racing. One of my favorite games from the SNES days. Just recently released for free by Blizzard on their website and I saw the version. It's kind of a demo version, kind of an abomination. So I'm going to be playing the SNES version, which I own. But unfortunately, I don't have a working SNES, so this has to be emulated here. Now, there is some interesting history about this game, at least in terms of how little music companies cared about their music copyrights and video games back in the day, because Blizzard very famously did not have permission to use any of the songs here, including the one that you are hearing here that I'm not going to name, because it is a Blizzard remastering, recreating of the game here. But Rock and Roll Racing is pretty much just a fun, isometric racer from the SNES where it's going to be about like this. There are weapons that you fire power-ups that you use. Your goal is to blow up your opponents possibly, but win first. Get points, go to the next area. It's password, uh, it's password, not password protected, but progression saved by password, all that kind of stuff. But it's a lot of fun. It plays very, very well. And the gameplay holds up pretty well to today too, which I guess is a good hallmark of Blizzard games here. But I mean, this is what we're going to do here. This is back in their interplay days from Once Upon a Time, and let's just go ahead and get started. We're going to play a new game. You can play two-player split, split screen, but instead we're going to do Warrior, the hardest mode, the only mode to play here. Now, you do get to choose your racer here, and we do have a few different options here. Snake Sanders from Terra, you'll see that there are different abilities that you get, plus one acceleration, plus one jumping. Uh, Eisen Dipher is apparently some people's favorite because of jumping and top speed. A lot of people don't like Katrina Lyons, Jake Badlands, Tarquin. You get just a few options here. But so this is kind of a sci-fi theme, and we'll go into that a little bit more. I'm going to play Jake Badlands, mainly because I really like acceleration. I really like cornering, and hell, I, I just chose him back when I was a kid because he has a mohawk. So I guess that's what I really wanted when I was a kid. Now, in terms of starting out here, you see you get your nice rat car dealer. You get to choose from all of these amazing colors here. We're going to go with green. I used to play with black or green, but green's going to be easier to show up here. Now, you do have the air blade as an option, but you only start with 20,000, so that's not on warrior. So that's not going to happen. Marauder or Dirt Devil? The immortal question, Marauder or Dirt Devil? We're going to go with Dirt Devil because I always went with Dirt Devil. If I could just actually hit the buy button would be good. Now there's not too many differences between the Marauder and Dirt Devil, but this is where the game kind of is a little bit ahead of its time here. Because you see you have eight races to run, you need to get 1400 points, and then what happens is that you advance to the next level or the next set of races. But we'll get to that in a little bit. I hope... Uh, other things just to keep in mind is that you do have your basic options here, including your warrior password. We'll talk about who Larry is in just a little bit, but there's some of the other nice vehicles that you can get. Spoiler alert, we'll see him later. All right, so the meat and potatoes of the game is the racing section, but you can't really do the racing section without the wonderful upgrade system in this game. It is literally you get money by upgrades and go. This is uh, your this is your health upgrade, your engine upgrades to go faster, your uh, slip sauce, which you'll see is kind of like dropping an oil slick because this is very much an arcade blow up things uh, race game. Jump jets which you'll want multiple charges of grasshoppers for making softer landings lasers because lasers are awesome and trackmaster for tires for more control now, like i said my character has a bonus in acceleration and uh, cornering which is going to be pretty important but you won't be able to tell nearly as much from here now i'm playing this game with the uh, xbox controller on zs and es like i said i do own the copy of the game and I do want to make the disclaimer as well that while there is music that you may recognize here this is uh, Blizzard's original recreation of the music any lack of fair use is on Blizzard and apparently was uh, the record companies did not exercise their rights but Blizzard is reticent to try it again putting it out and releasing it to the public however for let's play purposes it's necessary for me to play the full version of the SNES game and this is on the SNES emulator with having the music there so that's what that is we're going to start a race because that's enough of me blabbermouthing. Now the strategy for warrior mode where the opponents have tons of lasers and we'll fire them all the time. As we get Larry, the wonderful announcer here, is to always let them go first. And they are going to blow the shit out of each other. Now there's some things to keep in mind there. Those, col those gold marks that unfortunately the uh, opponents picked up were... Uh, well, you can see a few things there. Uh, Viper, the purple car, we'll, we'll hear about him quite a bit. He was smoking, he was on fire, he's about to blow up. Then he picked up an armor power-up, which restores your health completely. 
Uh, you get a thousand money for picking up money power-ups. You also get a thousand credits, currency, whatever you want to call it, anytime you shoot and kill somebody. Now, the opponents don't really upgrade themselves except between different circuits, so unfortunately I missed that power pickup, but we'll get this one here. Oh, that was bad. Uh, one of the things that really kind of messed with people playing, uh, playing with this early is that the isometric controls... We're going to see if we can cheat this here. Can I blow him up? Maybe. Ah, oh, missed. The grid should help me here, but I'm not doing too good. Like I said, we're going for the win, but I'm not sure if I'm necessarily going to get it. As long as I get second every time, as one of my dogs is barking in the background, of course, right now. Alright, so we'll see how this goes. So hopefully the computer's just going to keep killing themselves, as long as I can stay off the trail here. Should be alright. And I really don't know what my dog's problem is. This dog actually decided to run a few yards away and then get put back inside, so I don't know if there's something going on that maybe I should be aware of. But, oh, that was not smart. They're going to fire on me now. But fortunately, they... Oh, wow. Rip. Rip who's in gray and Shred who's in orange. If you want to play gray or orange, too bad. Those colors are reserved for the CPU along with purple. Oh, no! I had the win. I had the win in the bag. It was the last lap, and I messed up that jump at the very end. All right, well, we get Shred. Yeah, Viper. Just because the computer uh, will have tend to have the most advanced car, he's still driving a Marauder, which doesn't put me that far behind. Now, you'll see I've run one of eight races, and I have 200 points. That means I need to finish at least second and seven of the races. I don't even remember if the easier difficulties have less of a point threshold, because it's been so long since I played anything other than Warrior in this game. But you can see already I have... 1,000 or 11,000 and my first goal here is to buy an air blade it is the it's, it's a card that's going to last me a very long time in this game and it has a lot of fantastic upgrades that'll really put me over the top but let me just pause real quick to make sure that uh, my animal kingdom is not being stupid and then we will resume play all right so after that interruption of, of course barking was at phantoms here Let's just go ahead and continue. We're on Chem 4, Division B. Races to run. One of, or seven of eight left here. Really should have gotten first place that last time. Kind of irks me that uh, I screwed it up at the end. Part of that situational awareness just to know that you're on the last lap. Just go for it. Once again, I'm just going to let them go in front of me. I'm not using the D-pad to steer like I should. Oh, got greedy. Should have held on to my shot. That's a thousand extra credits that I could have gotten here. Gotta love the uh, contact-sensitive announcer here. Now, it is possible to actually launch yourself off of the uh, arena, so you want to avoid that if you can. I would have loved to avoid that landmine. There we go. Yes! Attack bonus. That's what you want. Now, not everything that you do gets an attack bonus. Like, you can actually do damage to some cars by ramming them. And if you ram them, uh, and they explode, you don't get an attack bonus. Uh, later on, you'll be able to use landmines, and if you hit with a landmine, you're not going to get it. If you kill somebody with a landmine, you don't get an attack bonus. So it's got to be an active attack here. So that is an important slip sauce used to, as I don't like being in the path of the rest of the cars, because they are going to be firing all over me. So Rip used the magic of video games to clip through me. So Rip died there. Oh, he didn't shred that. Oh, got greedy. Now, you can't actually jump over laser fire, guys. It's the distant future. But now I'm in a really bad position because I'm about to explode. And I'm on the last lap. Viper is faster than me, and there's a lot of straightaways. So I'm going to have to be very careful, try and use my cornering to really inch around here and not run into that. Yep, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, where you can get rammed by your opponent. So now I've just got to really hope that they blow each other up a little bit. Because that's the only way I'm going to catch up here. Now I could try and fire across the level. Desperation may call for that. But this might be a last place finish. Um, let's see here. Shred. Alright. Oh, can I get ahead? Can I? Oh, so close! That's third place. Ah. See, part of that is just health management a little bit. I let myself get low at the very end there, so 300 points. I've got to, I've got to tighten up a little bit here. 
Only at 2,000. If I get to 70,000 before, if you don't get 14,000 by the time this is all gone, you actually lose. Begin. But fortunately, this level is very bad for the AI. As you can see, the game is already oh, missed him. Really should have hit him. But yeah, the AI can actually be tricked in this game, and I'm pretty bad at triggering it anymore. But if you hit them just right or kill them right there, they will automatically path. Uh, to go up, and you can lap people quite a bit here. It's a little hard to do with my current setup. There we go. Just want to get each of those thousands. It does add up over time. Up, uh, up, uh, don't get cute with me, Rip. But yeah, this is a great level for my uh, cornering bonus. Unfortunately, this is also a great level for me to. Oh, damn. Okay, now that's exactly what you want to do to the AI to get them to explode here. But I'm going to have to take the. Uh, Oh wow, there we go. I'm gonna let Rip just do that. And let's see if I can get one of the health pickups here. No, they all got picked up. Alright. Ah. Don't shoot me, Rip. Okay, there's the one health pickup. I'm not gonna go out of my way to get it, but I'd really like the AI to shoot each other right now. And not shoot me. Alright. Lap lap! Yeah. Once again, don't know what this song is, but I always find it very funny that it's like I was so excited as a Kid. Not because I listened to classic rock or anything, I didn't. But just to have this kind of music in a racing game that was set in the future. You know, I still have dreams driving in traffic all the time. Of You know what, I'd love to shoot lasers and blow up the stupid car that's in front of me. As you can see, this dominant victory here. And my car has no upgrades. But that's where cornering really, really works. So we get our nice, we get our nice uh, series finish there. But yeah, I, I still have dreams of blowing things up. But see, all of a sudden I'm at 700 points. Halfway there, 33,000. Almost halfway there as well. Just one little victory does the difference there. But that's where cornering helps. And one thing that I really like about rock and roll racing versus something like Mario Kart or uh, even Gran Turismo is that there's not the same kind of rubber band mechanics, at least not to the extent that there are in other games, where if you just get really far ahead of your opponents because you happen to drive better, or you have a more effective vehicle layout or something, you actually get to stay ahead. Oh, Shred, you're gonna die. Oh, I missed. Your brother or partner in crime, Rick, guarded you just a little bit. All right, so. Ah, uh, landmines. And that one of those is in my usual path here, so we'll get that money pick up next time. That's actually a pretty nasty mine layout at the end of the level. And see, Rip, once again, he's all the way in front, but the computer doesn't really cheat to catch up with you, so you can get kind of a substantial lead if you run the course effectively. So let's see, can I get, get no, nah, I don't know, I don't think I hit right there. But you can make shots like that. I need to hit the outside there and get 2,000. There we go, Viper, kill him. Or leave him for me. There we go. You kill somebody off camera, as you can actually, if you pause it, you can actually see the little person kind of flailing around and flying. I'm just trying to stay out of the firing range. Trying to stay. I gotta take this, oh. See, that's not a great kill, and I may lose some points here, so I might as well use this to get the money. Miss one, wow, okay. Yeah, the, the clipping for the pickups can be a little unforgiving sometimes. That's kind of a waste. Alright. So rip all the way out in front, you can see how much more upgraded the other cars than me. They're firing lasers all the time. I don't think every car has max upgrades, but it sure feels like it. But I might be able to accelerate my way to victory. Oh no. Alright. Yes! Got it! Was thinking about shooting Rip, but didn't have to. Alright. Now it's not like I said, the the racing in this is not really a joke. It's just it's more it's fun to the sense right now is that I have to really rely on my stick skills or at least directional pad skills which I'm not using to make my way forward but even then once you're gonna see this game open up quite a bit once uh, I get the air blade which I'm probably two races away from if I can get the money pickups I did leave 2,000 on the table there which is unfortunate but can't always control that but you can see here each level does cycle through a finite number of tracks Kim for the planet that we're on right now has four tracks for eight races total. Don't somehow missed one money pickup. Like that. Here we go. He's gonna blow up. Got one. 
Right, so now suddenly Viper and I are in front just by shooting the uh, brothers something or other. Yeah, Viper has a much better top speed than me. I can beat him around corners. Now this track with a lot of straightaways is not very good for that. I just don't want to do things like that and hit the wall and get myself knocked off. Oh wow, magic dodging. Because unlike real life where lasers could be firing at the speed of light, these lasers I guess are chemical based and will just fire at you a little faster. I'm trying to use some clipping here to stay ahead. Not the best idea in the world, but my goal is not to have Viper kill me. My goal is to kill Viper like that. Alright, so that's another thousand. This is really dicey because I don't think there's any health upgrades remaining. So, yep, there's a landmine. <laughs> yeah, you should avoid mines. Thanks, thanks, announcer. Now I'm in fourth place. I gotta hope that the uh, computer hands me a gift so I can at least get third. That's why you try and get first when you can. There we go. Now I could go for firing across the entire level here. But that wouldn't be too smart just yet. Oh, there we go. Gotta love the uh, AI just blasting lasers. We'll see here. I really want Shred to shoot Viper or somebody to shoot somebody, please. There we go. I just gotta stay in front. There we go. Stay in front of you. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. No! Oh, I got it. I got it. Barely got it. Whew. Sound a little constipated there. Got some good kills, though. The weak third Viper. That's right. That was some source of good bragging rights, at least in the house when I was a kid of just saying, Hi, you're weak. Now, what you can do right now is that I could go ahead and advance... Uh, to the uh, next division. You think you're ready for Division A, but we're actually not going to do that just yet because it is very prudent in this game to try and maximize the amount of money that you have, especially on a level like Warrior, where the opponents are just so stacked. Although once you learn some of the ins and outs of the game, it's not too much. It's not too much to just kind of learn the paths and get around, and that's a lot of money. Yay, 3,000. And that was not the best jump in the world. If I had a jumping bonus, I wouldn't have lost nearly as much speed there. But, okay, Rip got Shred. You can tell by the mini-map on the top left. Viper all the way back here. It's just me and Rip it Boy right now. I should be able to actually get into some of this oil slick, maybe. But yeah, my, my ability to corner, and I'm not using the shoulder buttons to corner. I don't really like doing that with this car, because I'm not upgrading things. So, see if I can kill him next lap. Maybe? Yes. As you can see, Shred was going for the same thing with his brother. Two laps remain. Yeah, about the only time I try and use the shoulder buttons is right there when I get in a little bit too much of an oil slick. But right here, you see superior driving is getting rewarded by the game by... The AI is not getting the cheese catch up with me. Now, they are catching up with me because they have superior cars and everything, but... Like, you can see the Marauder and Shred just hauling ass on me. Whoop! Gotta be careful! Let's see if I can get this just right. I don't think I did. But if I can just stay out of the line of fire... There we go. Which, that'll trigger any time you jump yourself really high, obviously. Oh! Lost a lot of speed, hit the wall. Alright, I'm just gonna have to hope that either the AI blows up Shred or Shred doesn't shoot me twice at the tail end here. Oh, got a first place. At the week third, Rip is in another time zone. So 77,000. Which means we not only get to buy an Airblade, yes, you get a brand new car you get to go and do some fun with it. So what I'm going to do here is just talk a little bit about the upgrades for the Airblade, and we're going to go ahead and uh, call this probably... Uh, I'll do a race or two in the Airblade. Maybe... I'm not sure if I really want to split this up too much just between what car upgrades I get because this is a car I'm going to be using for a long time. Well, let's see. Health upgrades, very important. Cobra Mark 7 is a low priority upgrade because we do have the Lightning Nitro 24,000 for, uh, for boosts for speed, which is better than the jump jets. Ammunition, one landmine. You don't get money for using landmines, so I tend not to 
prioritize though. You get same tire upgrades, same shock upgrades. My favorite though is missiles because nothing says I want to have this in real life like a aerodynamically awesome car with missiles. So we'll just see. I could turn around and try to get some of the money here. Rip's just gonna get that money upgrade, so. Missiles, unlike lasers, do one and a half uh, balls of damage, which anytime you see smoke coming out of a car, they have one and a half life, which means you, you're not guaranteed to get a kill. Oh, damn. You're not guaranteed to get a kill with a missile here. Okay, we'll see if that hits him. Oh, damn. Stupid shred. Let's see if it can get, possibly hit just a little bit. All right. All right. I don't think I can get his health low enough, so we'll just go ahead. See how much faster I'm going? It looks like Rip actually got knocked way behind. Right, so Shred, we're just gonna just gonna have some fun with you, buddy. So you can see this car handles pretty well. Now missiles are not as fast as lasers, but see the cornering on this car is already much smoother. And that's kind of an inherent upgrade with the car. I need to hit that next one a little bit further on the outside, so. Right away, here we go, last lap. We go from having a car that's outclassed by everybody to a car that's just really good. Now, I'm sure, like I said before, I'm sure there's some strategies, some really interesting challenge modes and stuff that I can try and do for this game, but my goal here is a little bit more just to have some fun, show you all the game's all about missed with the missile but still dominating victory get the announcer here so there we go yay as you notice your trophies actually have no shirts on and they have like six and twelve packs I always found that kind of funny yeah but here we go 21,000 which means we're not gonna buy a new car though I can actually afford a new car with that probably would be interesting to see how far you can get the game with just the beginner car but what we're doing here is we're gonna buy some missiles and I like to get a lot of missiles because to me missiles equal money now I'm sure there's some theory craft math people that are like 20,000 you have to get quite a few kills to uh, recoup that cost but you know what in a game that's all about blowing people up it's more so stupid just firing your shit wherever you want to all right so we'll see if we can get a good straight away here Okay, one dead. Didn't get ripped. Oh. Right, well, we'll fix that in a second. But see, I can now do even more damage to people. So one missile. Oh, two missile. There we go. Once again, gotta love the uh, little stick person flying out from the vehicle. Because I guess there's an eject button that you don't really get to hit in time. Oh, okay, I'll take that landmine. 2,000. Okay, that's not a good one to take. I'm I'm far ahead enough now where I can do that. In fact, what I used to do when playing is just let people get ahead of me just so I could shoot them like that. Oh! Gotta get out of that laser fire. Okay, we're gonna do this again. So I'm trying to... Oh, damn. Alright. Will my arrogance be rewarded here? Okay, I'll just ram him. Might as well kill him anyway. Said no money bonus for ramming. It's not something like that doesn't show up on the screen. You actually don't get the thousand for that. Because once upon a time when I was way younger, one summer with uh, no responsibilities or anything, I just tracked my stats the entire time, but, and that's how it went. But see, we're all the way ahead, and because I have a superior vehicle, just fire my missiles. That was a terrible shot. If I would actually turned around, I probably could have gotten one kill there. There's some windows that you have where you can do some crazy across the uh, track shots. But, uh, no, we just get the dominating victory here. So not too bad, but yeah, this is this is just kind of rock and roll racing. It's it's a fun, not too complicated, not too hard game. Once you get the hang of it, but this season's over with. You think you're ready for Division A, and Division A, as you'll see, is just kind of you get the same races again, but now all the other cars have upgrades. So I'm gonna do another video here in a little bit, just to kind of show you all what the uh, upgraded version of all this looks like. So this is Way to Fail with Rock and Roll Racing. If you like what you saw, feel free to comment if you want to see more of this. That's great. If you have any suggestions for kind of how to challenge this, just let me know. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all next time.